In line with the Sustainable Development Goals, 10 different international technical organizations have joined forces to form the Network on Metrology, Accreditation and Standardization for Developing Countries, DCMAS. The network aims to boost the economic growth of developing countries through international trade by strengthening national quality infrastructure. Metrology, standardization and accreditation are the three basic pillars of national quality infrastructure. Metrology is central to the manufacturers, suppliers and customers of goods and services. The International Bureau of Weights and Measures and the International Organization for Legal Metrology are the two leading metrology agencies within the DC Mass Network. Metrology is really critical for developing countries. In fact, it's really important for all countries. Um, the ability to measure and measure with the appropriate level of accuracy and to be sure those measurements are, are, are correct is critical. Legal metrology in particular is important because it enables uh, protection of people at a number of different levels in the society. From individual consumers, it ensures that they get the best value they can for whatever they're able to spend on their food, their um, utility supplies to their house and so on. It also means that industry within a country um, is working on a level playing field and that fair trade is uh, ensured. Well, the DC Mass Network allows uh, the BIPM to interact with uh, uh, the other partners in, in a way that we can bring uh, a synergy to uh, developing countries because metrology doesn't work in a vacuum. The IML has participated in the DC Mass from the beginning of this uh, group because we think it's very important to show how metrology and legal metrology in particular fits into the overall quality infrastructure um, consisting also of the accreditation aspects and um, standardization. International standards and their use in technical regulations on products, production methods and services also play a vital role in sustainable development and trade facilitation by promoting safety, quality and compatibility. The leading organizations that produce international standards within the DC Mass Network are the International Standardization Organization, the International Electrotechnical Commission, the International Telecommunication Union and the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe. The importance of standardization for developing countries is it facilitates the trade process for them by participating in standards development they have a transfer of knowledge and expertise that they can implement at home which allows them to compete with other countries. For developing countries, they, they don't always have the capacity to produce their own standards. So it's very important that they have access to international standards. But sometimes it is difficult for them to adopt standards that have been prepared by other countries who have maybe no idea of the specificity of their continent, I'm thinking of Africa or, or Latin America or Asia. In principle standards uh, encourage uh, the economic economy of scale. Uh, they can uh, reduce costs for the products, for all products, and uh, they can help uh, ICT players to extend their markets. We are, uh, serve uh, our member states also in uh, promoting the importance of standards and uh, the standards related infrastructure to policy making and to regulators and uh, legislators. The principal aim of DCMS network is to build the technical infrastructure for promoting development. Uh, we have for the, t uh, for the time being we have uh, separate topics which are un under study. To meet the needs of developing countries in conformity assessment. The IC is offering the affiliate conformity assessment status for countries that participate free of charge in its affiliate country program. The aim of the DC Mass Network is to promote good practice among metrology standardization bodies and accreditation bodies. Accreditation determines the technical competence, reliability and integrity of conformity assessment bodies. 
the International Laboratory Accreditation Corporation and the International Accreditation Forum are the main international organizations that help remove technical barriers to trade by assuring that accredited certificates can be relied upon. Accreditation provides confidence that the data can be relied upon and so the products that are exported from developing countries if they're accompanied by accredited test data will help with acceptance in the importing countries. They can have more confidence that the product didn't, does not have to be retested uh, upon import. It's, it's important uh, to, to IF participate in the DCMAS activities because uh, it's necessary to involve all the countries principally the developing countries in all these activities to uh, try to make a balance. It's important for economic development and trade to ensure that industries in developing countries have access to a technical infrastructure that reflects specific needs. International organizations such as the International Trade Center and the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, which are part of the DC mass network, can help to build such a sustainable capacity. Quality infrastructure, as the name say, is the work that you do to ensure quality. Why do you need quality? You need quality to be more competitive. Industrial development requires that the product have uh, better quality, are more competitive, but to be more competitive is not enough. For any enterprise to uh, export its product to any market, it needs to meet the standards, the technical regulations and the sanitary and phytosanitary measures. Technical regulations and sanitary and phytosanitary measures are based on standards, and the enterprise has to demonstrate compliance through the services of competent and impartial com conformity assessment bodies. The three pillars of quality infrastructure, metrology, standardization, and accreditation are interdependent. The DC Mass Network applies the knowledge and experience of its member organization in all of these areas. To disseminate a coherent approach, the network organizes training, engages in global advocacy, and produces and disseminates relevant publications. The DC Mass Network aims to strengthen the technical infrastructures of developing countries to enable them to effectively participate in global trade, to boost economic growth, and to assure wealth creation and the well-being of their people.